Jessica Chestnut, Senior Online Product Specialist with Oxford University Press. It's my pleasure to be here to give you an overview of the Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law. The Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law sits on the Oxford Public International Law platform alongside Oxford Reports on International Law and Oxford Scholarly Authorities on International Law, making the three sites cross-searchable for the first time. But I'm going to take us right into the Max Planck Encyclopedia by clicking the title on the left-hand side. The Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law is a comprehensive resource containing articles on every aspect of public international law, authored and edited by over 800 leading scholars and practitioners. The site is published in conjunction with the Max Planck Institute for Comparative Public Law and International Law and is updated throughout the year. Here from the homepage, you can get into the content in a number of ways. First, you can browse the content in this dark blue toolbar at the top of your screen. Either browse all of the content together or go in by subject or author. You can also choose to search the site. Quick search the site at the top right in the quick search bar, which will travel with you throughout the site. Or click the advanced search link underneath the quick search bar to run a nuanced and sophisticated advanced search. You'll note that you can also check the Oxford Public International Law checkbox, which will enable the searching across all three public international law sites. Let's run a quick search at the top for immigration. Your search term will be noted at the top, and you can eliminate one or more to broaden your search if you'd like, or click Clear All to start anew. Also, above your search results, you'll notice these buttons on the top right-hand side of your screen. The first one will enable the printing of your search results. After that, you can save your search. You may choose to save a search to rerun when you revisit the site when new content has been added. You can even check this box to be notified via email when we've added new items that meet your research needs. Continuing over, you can also email and share your search results via social networking sites. Finally, you can change the text size. In the main frame here, you have your search results. Each one will indicate key details, giving you context before you would click through to the full text. But if you have too many results here, you may choose to filter on the left-hand side. In addition to searching within your results, you can filter by subject and author here. Please note that the plus signs do indicate that you can be even more specific and apply a subtopic filter. The numbers in parentheses here do correspond with the number of items that will be returned if you apply this filter. Now I'm going to choose the immigration article here and get right into this item. At the top of the screen, you'll have key publication details similar to those that we saw in our search results. You can turn search term hit highlighting off by clicking the hit highlighting checkbox at the top of your screen, and you'll notice that you have the same buttons atop your article that you saw atop your search results, enabling the printing, saving, emailing, and sharing of the content. As I scroll down, you'll note that anything blue is hyperlinked. These could be cross-references to other articles in the Max Planck Encyclopedia, or they could be citations to online websites or original case law. On the left-hand side, you'll have a table of contents of the article itself, letting you jump between the sections quickly and easily. Beneath that, you can also sign up for alerts. This will alert you directly when anything has been changed within this particular article. If you'd like to expand your research out and look at related content, click the Oxford Law Citator orange bar here. You'll be taken to the Oxford Law Citator, which is an exciting and powerful platform for expanding your research. You're looking now at the page for the immigration article from the Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law. But down below, you'll see links to related content. First, on the left-hand side, to related content pertaining to the subject of immigration within this encyclopedia. But on the right-hand side here, you can jump to articles that are referenced by this article, articles that reference the one we're looking at, or to other items pertaining to the particular subjects relevant to immigration here. 
Jumping back to the immigration article on the Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law, I'd like to show you how you could run an advanced search. Our advanced search, remember, is linked beneath the quick search bar atop every screen, and this is going to let you be extremely particular about where your search term appears. Choosing to specify that your search term fall within the full text, the date, the author or contributor name, or the title. Add as many search terms as you'd like, specifying the relationship between your search terms here. You can also apply a subject filter, as well as specifying that you'd like to search within the encyclopedia entries. Now once you've searched and saved some items that are relevant to your research, your saved content will be available in two places. One is in the dark blue toolbar here, where you have My Content and My Searches listed. This will have both your saved items as well as anything recently viewed in case you didn't think to save something but want to revisit it. If you'd like to see all of your saved content together, however, go up to My Work at the top of the screen. The My Work profile is separate from institutional access, which means that every member of your institution can have a profile and save content. It also means that anywhere you can get to the Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law, you can get to your saved content. We will organize it into most recent, which will include both searches and content saved within the last 30 days. And then the My Content and My Searches tabs will have anything saved regardless of date. From here, you might choose to apply some tags that establish relationships between your saved content. So I can find all of my content pertaining to the topic of human rights, for instance. The My Work area is also a great place to save time in exporting citations for multiple items at a time. You can also edit anything saved or delete it from here. The My Account area is where you would simply update your email or change your password. We'll never contact you unless you get locked out of the site. And that's the Max Planck Encyclopedia of Public International Law, your comprehensive resource for public international law reference. Mm -hmm.